Hi guys, welcome to my channel Shankar Trading. So today we'll see you know, what happened in the market. So market was like weird only you can see. So the market today. So today's market, the scenario in the morning. I think the morning trade for the you know the beginners and all. If you know the CPR logic, the trade started at this point. Morning, the trade started at this point. You can see, and this was your exit point. And as you know that. The CPR comes when it's a no trade zone. So for the overall scenario, market was in a sideway only from this point. See, nothing happened over here. This this point you can say nothing happened. So till that time, till twelve, the market was you know like very lazy, and then we got a this thing, the bulk combination. We got a bulk combination at this point, and then the market jumped. So this was your trading area basically when the bulk and that combination comes in. So your trading zone was this, you know, this candle maybe or maybe this was your entry point exactly. This was your entry point, and then the you know the candle jumped up. So this was your exit point, or you know you know that if it just went up, so that was a previously high line. So that was your exit point. So the trade was from this point. You can say that was one uh, that was one of your you know good trade. You can say at that time, and the second trade when this combination came, as you can just see there, this combination came. See over here, bulb came. Now see the bulb came. After that, you can just see that after three two candles, okay. After that first or second candle, the sell signal came. So when the sell signal came, you should have waited. You should have waited for that. And this was your entry. This one. And this. This was your entry point. So that was your entry point. And see after that what happened. See, it does that. So that was a, this thing, you know. So that was your entry point. It just went down from there. It didn't come up. And see. So it just went to the CPR. So that was the second trade. What the perfect trade to take. And then it jumped down, okay. Then it just went down from here. Then, as you know that in the morning, I was telling that thirty-nine thousand seventy-three. If it breaks, then gone. So that was our bottom central pivot line where it was just going on hanging. And then see what happens at around three o'clock. So it was at very late. But see, still we got a bulb. It just went up. And then see what happened. Once it broke that line, after that maybe around three o'clock, it just you know. It was just taking a rest at that point. Then it's taking a down. What happened is that in this scenario, it was making a down. See, so just going up, then came down, then just went up to that point. Then again, what is the down tells you know? This was a line. This was a bottom over here. So the bottom, if it broken, or maybe this was a line to be broken. Okay, that's all gone. So that was the logic. Now see, after that, what happened? So after that, see, it just went down at around three o'clock. It broke that line, and then suddenly just went down from there. So overall scenario, two trades, and after that, it, when it broke, you know, at the end of the day, I don't, I, can't, I don't say that it was a beginner trade at the end of the day, but end of the day, you can see, see what happened. Once it broke through that point, so once it broke through that point from here, that was the last trade, but you know, for the next day expiry, this was your exit point, and now see the end of the day, what happened from there. So that was a trade for Bank Nifty, and let's see what happened in Nifty. So we just do the review on Nifty also. Now see Nifty, what what happened exactly? So Nifty also see. I think in the morning there was not a good trade. You can see. So overall scenario when it broke that CPR, CPR is like no trade zone. It was just bluffing, bluffing. So major trade happened over here. When the sell came, I think after that it was below the S1. The first trade I can see from this point to this one, you can see, or maybe till S1. So the 50 percent was a target, and then see again a reversal happened. It went up. The next target was a scalping from this candle to this candle. That was scalping, and see after that what happened. See when we get got this bulb. Sorry, this arc. Now you can just see what happened after that. See. So now, now we know that it is a, it is below that previous day low line, okay? And then we got this sell signal. Then we got this sell signal. So definitely when the sell signal comes, so what is the scenario is? This was your entry point. So definitely this was your entry point, and where will be your SL? Definitely you know that this is your this thing previous day low line. That is your SL. So let's see whether the it hit that SL or not. This is the back testing. We'll see what happened. So now see. So this is how you know you should understand where to put a SL and then you should trade. So we are getting this you know what is it the reversal uh, scenario, but we are getting the reversal scenario and this buy came, then it jumped up. So we have to wait for that confirmation whether we are getting that you know signal. So again, that sell is coming. So maybe it will go up and touch that point. Maybe 
So see, it just jumped up here, over here, your SL gone in this scenario. It jumped up from there, your SL hit it. No, still now, yeah. Your SL gone because whenever that cell signal, no, that cell arrow comes in, that means your SL gone. Now see, so now see, we got a, we got a, this thing, we got a cell signal. So definitely below this was our entry with using our bulb logic. So below this was our entry. And here the SL would be this candle or maybe this candle. This was your SL. So below that S3 was our entry. But it was like, you know, at the end of the day. So I don't think so. Only experienced reader. And our 1010 also went like a rocket, you know, the 1010 our trick that went up like a rocket as you can see. So that was the logic, you know, so you should do the back testing and all and just it's better, you know, just you should know how to trade on bulb. If you know that, yeah, bulb is a savior, you can say. So that's all for the days, guys. Uh, let's see. So just subscribe the channel and hit the like button. That's very important. So whenever I just post the video, that will be easy for you. Okay. So to get through the logics exactly what happened in the market. Take care. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow with a fresh.